Hey guys, welcome to ED Technology and in today's video we are going to talk on software myths. It's part of software engineering lecture series and my name is Navjot Singh Jadeja and we will be discussing different types of software myths. So software myths are surrounding software engineering for a very long time. So let us understand what exactly are software myths. So as for the father of software engineering, the Pressman. Pressman describes a number of beliefs or myths that software managers, customers or practitioners believe falsely and he described myths as the misleading attitudes that have caused serious problems. So basically if we understand this in a simple language, software myths are nothing but something which affects the overall working of the software development process due to some beliefs which we have. So let us classify them into different types of myths. So we have managers myth, we have developers myth and we have the customer, the, the you know the primary stakeholder, the customers myth. So let us break them down, let us understand what are these myths and then I'll also share what are the realities which software developer, manager or the customer needs to understand. So let us go through that. So first we are discussing is management's myth or the manager's myth. So the myth which is the primary one is that we already have the book that is full of standards and procedures for building software. Won't that provide my people with everything they need to know. So this is somehow a lot of people as in the managerial uh, level uh, or the management level people think that we have the standards of the book, we have all the experience in the world, we have the people. Now it's the, isn't that not enough to begin coding and start the software? So the reality is that book of standards are always existing. But do we use it? Are software developers or practitioners aware of its existence? Does it actually reflect in the modern software engineering practices? Is it answer to everything? Is it complete? Is it streamlined to improve the delivery time while still maintaining the focus on the quality? And also most of the time the answer to these questions is no. Right? So this is a big myth where we think that we are the books and we can develop the software but there are much more criteria involved than that. Next myth is my people have the state of the art software development tools. After all we buy them the newest computers. So doesn't that mean that they can start doing the work right away? The reality is different guys. It takes much more than the latest model mainframes, workstations or computers. Computer aided software tools are more important than the you know high quality hardware only. Good quality and productivity can then achieve and yet majority of the software developers still do not use case tools very effectively. There is one more myth which is surrounding the managers or management's myth is that if we get behind in the schedule add up more people guys. Let's add more programmers and catch up on time which is also known as Mongolian Horde concept. Try to google it out, you will get what I am talking about. So reality is software development is a, you know, it's a, it's an artistic process, not a mechanical one. So it's not like manufacturing, we add more people and the software can be done faster. In fact, training new people, getting them on board and also explaining what the scenario in the current uh, software development is will actually take up more time than the normal in turn delaying the project even more. So this is the manager's myth which we have discussed. Now uh, there is one more myth which I will be adding is if I decide to outsource the software project to a third party, I can just relax and let that firm build it you know. So a lot of times companies think as soon as I outsource I am done. Reality is completely different. If an organization does not understand how to manage and control software projects internally, it will fall guys. It won't work with the outsourcing also. So even if you are outsourcing, you still have to understand that your role, your communication is important. So next up we are talking is on the practitioners myth 
or the developers myth so the biggest myth which they you know feel in terms of the code is once we write the program get it to work our job is done guys that is never the case if you are a developer or a practitioner that never is the case in fact the reality is that sooner you begin writing the code longer it will take to get it done so it's like you know the saying which is there that if you are asked to cut a tree spend your 60% of time in sharpening the knife so that next 40% you utilize well so same way the data indicate between 60 to 80% of all effort expended on the software is on you know how we can maintain the quality so that is how we need to understand uh, that it's not only about writing the programs and coding it's much more than that next myth is until i get the program running i can't access the quality that's the big myth in terms of the you know developers because one of the most effective software quality assurance mechanism says that quality is not one step parameter it happens at each step so it starts from the inception of the project up via you know formal technical review and up to each stage where you are coding debugging your code you are pair programming you are working with the team and a lot of ways so there are you know quality filters which we can achieve via different software engineering concepts next myth is that only work which can you know i can deliver a deliverable work product is a successful project or a working program otherwise it's not something which is deliverable the reality is a working program is only very small part of the software configuration that includes many elements like documentation is also a pioneer or a foundation of successful engineering and it also plays important part in guiding for the software support the next myth which practitioners follow is that software engineering will take us to create a lot of documentation which is unnecessary and which it will reduce the effectiveness of the time reality is software engineering is not only documents it's practical approach towards creating qualitative complete and a reusable software development so it creates quality better quality leads to reduce work and as a result we have faster delivery times next up we are talking about customers myth so the customers as in the client they have lot of beliefs and let us discuss that so the first myth is a general statement of objective is sufficient to begin writing programs we can fill in the details later if we we'll, you know you start creating a software and then we'll give you the requirements that's not the case guys reality is up front if we do not have clear requirements we cannot move further as in the formal you know uh, documentation and description will be missing as a result we would be you know not sure on what performance criteria what behaviors what interfaces or what design constraints we have to apply in the project and as a result we can actually miss time our calculations project requirements continually change but change can be easily accommodated because software is flexible and nowadays because there is agile development lot of this also becomes you know reality but not all project requirements can be changed and we cannot be accommodating all the changes so the reality is software requirements do change but the impact of change varies with the time at which it is introduced so we have to keep that in mind and we also have to understand what method or what uh, you know development models we are following based on the requirement so this is it for the you know software myths if you have any queries you can comment in the comment section if you like our effort to teach you guys please subscribe to the channel uh, we have all the software engineering related content in here and if you have anything which you want us to you know create videos on please feel free to share that also we'll try our best to share our knowledge thank you so much have a great day